Hello guys, in our new video today, we are going to learn how to trade breakouts. Let's first start by what's the definition of a breakout. A breakout is the move of an instrument above or below a defined area. This area can be a support, resistance and even a trend line. Later in this video, you will learn more about this trend line and how you can benefit from their breakouts. In this example, we can see that this chart covers the three types of price action support resistance and trend lines what is support and what is resistance generally techniques using support and resistance are considered one of the most easiest all you need is two points or more to form either a support or resistance explaining for you without example will not be clear so if you look closely at the chart in front of you now, you can see that the British pound touched the blue horizontal line four times down and couldn't break downward. A support is formed. Another type of horizontal line will be shown in this example. We can see clearly that the horizontal blue line rejected the price three times in a try to make higher highs. A resistance here is formed from the first two peaks. Support and resistance breakout strategy. In this part of the video, we will teach you how to trade the breakout of support and resistance. We will divide this section into two parts. The immediate breakout, or as some technical analysts call it, direct breakout, and the pullback one. What's the difference? In the first one, the price manages to break the line and continue its direction immediately. While in pullback breakout, the price first consolidates after the penetration and then continue its direction. Big difference with different opportunities. To better understand what we are talking about, we will display examples for both cases in a time of immediate breakout and pullback. We will start by the first example, immediate breakout of resistance. We can see how the price managed to break the resistance with a strong impulse and continue its direction upward. Another example is an immediate breakout, but in case of a support. It is obvious how the price fell dramatically downward after breaching the support. It's a downtrend with a sharp slope, pushing the pair down to hell. Now let's have a look on the benefits of trading an immediate breakout. As we see on the graph, we listed some of the pros behind trading the immediate breakout. The risk to reward ratio will be high in this type of trading because we entered the trade with a very tight stop loss and expecting a far target profit due to the strong momentum after the breakout. Second advantage, you will benefit from riding the big move, where the market makers move the market with a very strong momentum if the direction was in your favor. Third and last benefit is that you will join the big move on the right time and enjoy some peeps along. After covering what benefits behind riding the immediate breakout, we should give you some cons that you will face in case the breakout went wrong. First and most common disadvantage of trading breakouts is that you may face entering a high risk trade which may result in a hit of your tight stop loss. We will explain more about this case later. I cannot count the number of times where the price breakout and what happens next if the price doesn't continue with the direction of the breakout, but it makes a reversal. This is called fake reversal. You could be trapped with fake breakouts more than 80% of the time. Second, due to the tight stop loss, there is a high possibility that it will be hit. Some claims that there are tricks done by the big financial institutions or brokers to move the price in the direction of the majority of stop losses, pushing the majority of traders out, and then it reverses to go in the opposite direction. We are showing you on the screen in front of you a real case of a fake or false breakout. What happens with this currency after trying many times to break downward under the blow line is that the third time the price managed to breach the support, but then suddenly reverse and rejected the support. The big week highlighted in green is the cause behind hitting your stop loss. After finishing the explanation of immediate breakouts, we should now learn more about trading the breakout after a pullback. What this means? This happens when the price succeeds to break a line. Please, I have a full focus now, because what we will explain now is very important. On the chart, we see that after the British pound 
Australian dollar break upward, it made a pullback or called a retracement towards the resistance that was previously a support. If we look closer, we see at the end of the flag, we have a bullish engulfing candlestick comes to confirm that we are right about our decision. We can note that usually the shape of a pullback comes in a form of a flag. It is not always the case, but nearly most of the times. After understanding this concept, let's move to see what are the cons and the pros behind this type of trading. We will list some of the advantages. Trading the pullback is much safer than the immediate breakout because the flag or the consolidation that happens after a breakout is a type of confirmation that the breakout is a successful one. Second reason to trade pullback is that we are more protected with a more defined stop loss comparing to the immediate breakout. But for sure the profits are less. Third and final benefit is the timing behind this strategy. In trading pullback, you have the time to decide and catch the main trend. We will summarize the benefits of a pullback breakout by showing you a new example. By looking on this chart, we can see that we have support highlighted in blue. The price was in a downtrend, approached the support and managed to immediately break lower than the support. To be able to trade the pullback breakout, you should have emotions made of steel. Most of the traders in the moment of breakout, they think that they lost the opportunity, but an experienced trader wait for the pullback like what happened in our case and then execute a short position. You can note also how the pullback came in a form of a flag. Now we need to explain some of the disadvantages behind trading a pullback. Sometimes by waiting the pullback, the market tricks us and continue its direction sharply as we have seen in the immediate breakout. In that case, we miss the trade unfortunately. And another disadvantage you may face is that the price doesn't give us a clear price action so we can know when to act. Now, we are seeing in front of us a pullback breakout where the price managed to close lower than the support, but what happens is it went back above the support which was not expected. The price action was not respected in this case, if we have put our stop loss above the support, we ended up out of the position. Another chart to give you an example of what happens when we wait for a retracement in a pullback breakout. The price tried more than two times to break the resistance. But in the third time, the price managed to breach this resistance and close upper the resistance. Here the trader that prefer to trade the pullback would wait for a retracement, but the market was much more quicker than to wait and an immediate breakout happened with a big bullish engulfing candlestick to continue the upward trend. Breakout of trend line strategy. A trend line is a line connecting the lows or highs of an asset. To consider an uptrend, we should connect the lows of an asset that is experiencing higher highs. While to find a downtrend, we connect the highs where the price is displaying higher low. They act as a support and resistance of the price but in a deviated direction. Let's go further in our explanation and show you a real example of how to draw a trend line. By seeing the chart, we can see that we connected a minimum of two highs. And by doing this, we formed a trend line with a downward direction. We need to give you a tip here. The more we connect highs or lows, the more the trend line is valid. And we should expect a big impulse after a breakout. We will learn more about that later in this video. How to trade the breakout of the trend line? As in support and resistance, we have two ways to trade the trend line breakout. Immediate and pullback. To start with an example, we will show you a chart of an immediate breakout in a trend. The pair British Pound Australian Dollar was moving in a downtrend, where a breakout occurs and managed to move the price above the highlighted blue trend line. As we note, the trend line acted as resistance and rejected the price two times before the breakout. Here the breakout was immediate because there was no retracement. Instead, the price was pushed higher in a very strong impulse. We need to note here that most of the trend line breakouts indicate a reversal. Nothing is guaranteed in the market, but these reversals occur most of the time. Let's see the benefits using such a trade. 
one of the benefits we can name here is we will have the opportunity to catch the reversal in the right time since after each trend line breakout a new trend will be formed this will allow us to enter a position with high risk to reward ratio so till now we noted that most of the breakouts have similar common benefits about timing and high risk to reward ratio. We can see from this illustration that the price was in a downtrend where we connected the lower highs. To make it more visible, the price finally succeeded to break and close higher than the highlighted blue line and made a bullish candle with a big body confirming that it's the time for a reversal. And as you note, the price went in an upward movement after this breakout. After listing the pros of a breakout in a trend line, let's see the cone behind it. The cones of trading immediate breakouts for support and resistance are the same for trend line. Therefore, no profits without a risk. But in a case of an immediate breakout, the reward is much more higher compared to the risk. Why? Because usually after a trend line, you will note a new trend is established or we call it reversal long with a strong momentum. Another con is that you will be haunted by the big financial institutions and investment banks to get you out of the market. You should be so precise when it comes to stop losses in this type of trading. So let's end this section to show you what happens when the immediate breakout goes wrong. In this case, the price was going in a downward movement trying to break the highlighted in blue line that acts as a resistance. After many attempts, the price succeeded to break the line and here traders think that it's time for a reversal. Many start to enter in a buy position in hope that the price reverse and changes its direction. What happens next, nobody expects it. The price goes down and close under the previous resistance, leaving behind it a bearish candlestick with a long white wig. This is a typical example that you can face when trading the immediate breakout. The second type of entry in case we are in a trend line is a pullback breakout. This comes after the price manages to break the line lower or higher. It all depends on which direction the trend line has. And after we look for a retracement that comes most of the time in a form of a flag, we take the trade along with certain price action setup. To be clear of what we are seeing, we will show you a real chart example. This is what we call a pullback breakout. The price managed to break lower than the uptrend and after that, a pullback happens to bring back the price near the highlighted blue line, leaving the price to go in a new trend downward. To know why most of traders trade pullback breakouts, we should provide you with some of the pros behind this strategy. We think there is not much to add to the list of pros we have seen with support and resistance. So, trading a pullback breakout gives you the opportunity to take a position at the right time with risking little while expecting a high reward. What we have here is that the British pound was in an upward trend line where the price closed lower than the line and made a slight pullback to the main trend. And then a huge bearish candle confirms the reversal. We need to give you lastly the disadvantages of trading pullbacks. You should be aware that sometimes in this type of trading, the setup doesn't show a clear price action based on a candlestick signal. So we end up missing the opportunity and not benefit from the breakout. To end the part of how to trade the pullback breakout, let's stop at the final example we have here. The price crashed the trend line and marked a lower low under the uptrend. The majority of traders in this case wait for a pullback to the main trend but actually what happened is that the price went back again upper than the trend line hitting some stop losses giving the opportunity for the investment banks to push the price to a dramatic fall against the main trend finally guys if you enjoy this video click on the like button and let me know in the comment section which topics would you like to be covered in the next videos until the next time, happy trading.